I'm Kathy from Needle in a Haystack in Alameda, California. Today I wanted to do a review with you of the Daylight Halo uh, Table Lamp and Magnifier, as well as a Rav Power Power Bank. Now this is a product that will allow you to take a lamp um, and or magnifier that normally needs to be plugged into a 110 outlet and use it in a class environment. It'll get you through an entire class. So stay tuned for the review. So this is the box and the case for the Daylight Halo and for the RAV Power power bank. I'll show you how to put it back in its box and how to actually put the power bank back in its case in a few minutes. This is what the power bank looks like from the top. Um, this is it on its side. It is um, weighs about, mm, I think it's just a little bit under a pound. It's not really lightweight, but it's also not terribly heavy. On the bottom of it, it has uh, little air vents and an indentation so that it's not sitting directly on a table and completely flat. It actually gets a little bit of airflow. Um, it has on the front of it uh, four LED, or sorry, five little LEDs that light up so that you can actually see what's going on. Has uh, a power cable input, has um, USB output, and a Type C output. So Type Cs are for things like Macs and other things. And the most important part, which is why I purchased it, an actual 110 power plug. Most lamps require a 110 power plug. They don't usually have um, a USB, although there's a few more contemporary ones that do, but most of them don't. And then the lamp that we're going to pair this with is from Daylight. Um, I happen to like it because it folds flat. So this is what it looks like when it's folded flat. You can tell from the side that there's not a lot of depth there. It's uh, just under like an inch and a half. Um, in the case, it's about two and a half inches tall, but it's protected a little bit more. But there is a plastic cover around the LED rings, so I wouldn't be uncomfortable about racking, wrapping this up in some clothes and putting it in my suitcase. It does fold completely flat, as I said. Here's the base. You lift it up, and then you lift the lamp head up. And I'll kind of turn that on its side so that you can see. I'll take some photographs so you can see as well. Um, it has quite a few angles to it. This top part can actually angle all the way straight up. I haven't really found a use for why I'd want to do that, but um, it's certainly there as an option. And it will go um, down, as you noticed, quite a ways because it will fold itself completely flat. So you could use it at this angle. You can actually use it at this angle. Um, and it's actually um, quite a nice lamp. Now, Obviously, you can't tell that at the moment because it's not plugged into power. Uh, I'll do that in just a moment. But the other thing that makes this particularly attractive is it is, in fact, actually also a magnifier. So it has um, a regular magnifier and one of the little spot magnifiers in there. So you can actually get pretty good magnification underneath it um, if you need to do that in a class environment, uh, which is quite nice. It does come with a plug, which normally you would plug into a wall outlet. But today, to test this, we're going to plug this into the RAV Power. Now, I've done two tests with this, uh, both uh, uh, in the last week, to see how long the lamp would take to discharge a fully charged RAV Power. Uh, this unit, it takes about four hours to charge it, all the way from dead to actually completely powered. And it took about so you know, somewhere between nine and a half and ten and a half hours to discharge the battery using this lamp on its highest setting. Now mileage will vary on things like temperature, humidity, those kinds of things, but certainly long enough that you could get an actual class out of it, which I think is a quite lovely thing. Um, on the front, or actually on the top, it has a little power button. So just hold the power button down for about five seconds. Um, it will power up with a little green light so that you know you actually have power. And you can actually check the front LEDs. I just charged this um, for about maybe 30 minutes after I'd fully discharged it in my finishing off my test for how long it took to discharge it. So it actually, if you needed to uh, recharge during, say, lunchtime in a classroom, you could take this unit with you with its power adapter. Um, and you'd be able to actually do um, get through an entire day, if maybe not you know a day and a half, if you had a really long set of classes. So I've plugged it into the lamp. Um, I've just kind of gotten my cord out of the way. 
And I'm going to lift this up a little bit higher so you can maybe see a bit better. And I think I will put something very black underneath here so that you can see. There is a good estimation of how much magnification you get out of this. This is a three-way um, light. So not three ways in terms of temperature, but three ways in terms of brightness. So that's the brightness, the, the brightest. This is the second. This is the lowest. When I did my test, this is off. When I did my tests, I did it on the highest one, and that's what ran for between nine and a half and ten and a half hours. Nine and a half the first time, ten and a half the second time. Some of that might be cycling in um, the battery, getting charged multiple times in the RAV power. Um, this is actually quite bright. I don't have a light, uh, a light meter to be able to give the actual brightness, but for doing something in a class environment, it's actually really quite bright. Um, you can tell how much brighter the black on this looks even just, I'm going to close the lid here and kind of angle this off a bit. And you see how much brighter that black is on the bright one, middle one, lowest one, off. So this reads quite black on the lar on the lowest one and a, kind of a medium gray on this. So I think this is a really great solution for class. The other thing that I noticed is, is that, um, and this is not unusual with the way lamps work, um, how big the light pool is. When you've got this on the brightest setting, your light pool is about um, my hand span. So it, it, it's about maybe two feet across, so it's quite a nice area. On the middle setting, it shrinks quite a bit, so you're down to about maybe 18, 14 to 18 inches. On the lowest one, you're really getting much more narrow. You're really just kind of directly over the work. So depending on what you need for class, um, then you can actually get a good idea for that. The other thing about the lamp is that it, the head swivels as well. Um, so you can get this to swivel all sorts of directions. So if you need to have, say, something where you need it lit, um, I'm going to turn it this way and open the magnifier, because you needed to see something over here, you can in fact do that. Um, and so you can do quite a bit with it, um, and uh, it's pretty sturdy, so you don't feel like if I, if, if I turn it, I'm going to break it. It doesn't feel like that at all. So when you want to put the lamp away, um, just fold it up, unplug it, and if you leave the RAV power plugged in like that for more than, I believe it's a minute, it will shut itself off. Um, if you want to turn it off with something plugged into it, just hold the power button down again for about five seconds and it will shut itself off. And this is made for two prong plugs. So there is a more expensive version. I, I've not tried it with a three prong. It's not intended for a grounded plug. I believe if you stick a grounded plug in here, it will still work. But, because um, I think that's what the hole is for. I've not actually tried that. But if you actually need to use an actual grounded plug, you had something that was much more sturdy, like, you know, a computer that actually needed that, um, you would want to get a different model. They do make one that's about, I think, 40 or $50 more specifically for needing a grounded plug. Depending on your uh, adapter, this one is, uh, the prongs are the same. They're not polarized. So you can put it in this way or you can put it in this way. I happen to like it this way because that way if I wanted to use the USBs, I have that option of doing that. And then when you pack it up, just squeeze its little top down. So I'll show you how to pack it up in its case in a couple minutes. So for the Halo, it comes in a box that turns it into a carrying case as well. I have taken all the plastic out because I don't really need it when I'm traveling. Easiest way to do this is have it so that it's upright. Slide the base underneath here. Then just fold this down and there's a natural indentation in there for where that goes. Um, there was a little box that came with it for um, where the power cord goes. I don't usually ever keep those just because I don't really want to have to be bothered to put it back in a little tiny box inside a box. So I just put it in here with the plug um, kind of to the side so that I can get the thing back in. Fold it down. It's got these sorts of corner corner um, adapters. I don't want to say adapters, little slots. Slide it in, slide that in, and you've got a carrying case. And it's a great way to take it to class. 
And then for the RAV Power, um, it's got an actual hard case. So you can tell from the sound, it's actually pretty sturdy. It comes with a little bag that you can put all of the components back in. So here's the power cord for it. It's one of the ones that comes in two pieces. So this is the 110 that plugs into the wall so that you can, you know, just sort of normal plug. This is the little end that actually goes into the charger. So it has a little thing here that says input. Just plug that in and plug it into the wall. So it's the easiest thing to do when you want to put it back in the case is to actually disassemble it. Um, if you leave it with its adapter completely plugged in, it makes the case a little bit um, full. And then just pull down on the pouch. There's one side. The left side is for the power cord in its little pouch. And the right side is actually for the power bank. So you just drop it into there do its little Velcro and you're ready to go. Um, it does come with a couple of USB adapters. So there's a USB-C and a regular USB. And there's also um, a little um, clip that you can use to, you know, attach it to your bag or, in theory, I'm assuming that, there's, that they're thinking people might use this for something like going camping or something. And then just zipper the whole thing closed. Now it is under a hundred watts, so domestically in the United States you can actually take this in your carry-on. You cannot put it in your checked bags because it is a lithium battery. So when you're going to travel with this, make sure that it goes into your carry-on bag. Um, if you're traveling internationally, um, double check with your airline to make sure that you know what their requirements are. Most are under 100 watts, but some obviously might vary. But I think this is a great solution if you're trying to go to a class, don't have access to a power plug during class, which is becoming more common with seminars these days. Um, uh, and for about $160, $170, you can, under $200, you can get a solution that's pretty portable. This obviously will work for other lamps. Um, I'm testing it at the moment with some other um, more powerful lamps just to kind of see what the timing is on that. When I get that done, I'll post another video about it. And uh, we'll have links below for where to order the lamp through the shop and um, how to order the lamp through uh, Amazon. If you have any questions, just put it in the comments or drop us an email. Happy stitching.